Alright, so this is day two of my gratitude journal. Um, this day has not been a really great day either. Um, I just, I woke up not feeling well. I've been sick pretty much all day. Um, my husband and I kind of got into one of those stupid quarrels that was really nothing, but it turned into something. And um, so it's just been a bad day. I ended up having to drive over an hour to my doctor's appointment. Traffic was really bad. And uh, so it was kind of frustrating. Um, I have a really hard time driving long, long distances because of the car accident I was in. I've got five herniated discs in my neck and my back. So, um, so I have a really hard, hard time with distance. So, um, so there's kind of a, how my day went. So I'm really liking the idea of processing my thoughts when the day's over and really thinking about what I'm grateful for. Um, I think that it's really therapeutic. So today I am grateful for many things, but I just want to say, you know, I really am grateful for my husband. Um, I know sometimes it can get frustrating living with somebody that has a chronic illness and doing all that you think that you know how to help that person and just feeling like your efforts um, aren't good enough. And, and I'm sorry for the times that I do make him feel that way. Um, it's certainly not intentional, but I know that he tries and I'm really thankful that he does care enough to do what he thinks is um, what I need. And, you know, I just, I really do appreciate him. I don't think that I would have much of a life at all without him. I just don't know how I could live and provide for my children and um, just, like I said, just have a life, you know, without the love and support and help of my husband. So really, I'm very thankful for you and I am sorry. Um, I'm also really thankful for my transportation. You know, I've, there's been times in my life where I haven't had a vehicle. And so um, while I was driving to my doctor's appointment and in pain from sitting for so long, um, you know, I, I was able to remind myself that at least I have a vehicle. At least I'm not having to sit out at bus stops and, you know, take bus to bus to get to this faraway doctor's appointment. And um, I am thankful for my vehicle. It's the nicest vehicle I've ever owned. And, uh, yeah, I really like my Ford Explorer. So, um, so yeah, um, of course, I'm still thankful for my children. Always will be. Um, I'm also very thankful for my fellow fibromyalgia um, and chronic illness suffers because without all of you to remind me that I'm not alone and just without your love and your support, um, I really would just feel completely hopeless. So of course I wouldn't wish my pain and suffering on anybody, but you know, the fact is that you are out there and you are in pain just like I am. And just being able to connect with you, with all of you and to get your messages of support. Um, I'm really, really thankful for that. It really helps. So thank you guys very much. So again, this was day two of my gratitude journal. Um, I'm feeling a little bit better. It really does help to take a moment just to reflect on the things that you're blessed with in life. And uh, I really encourage you all to do the same if you haven't already. It doesn't have to be a video log. It can be, you know, a notebook journal anything um, but it's just really important to remember um, the things in your life that you should be grateful for regardless so if you have a chronic illness or not